Anna Escobia and welcome to my channel where I share my music, give curly hair tips, and tell my stories through vlogs. So today, yes, you read it right in the thumbnail. We will be talking about sulfates and silicones. Mm -hmm. So we will be talking about the bad reputation of sulfates and silicones. And then I will be sharing the unbiased scientific facts about them both silicones and sulfates and then i will be sharing how i personally use them omg sis nagamit daw siya ng silicone at sulfate sis ano yung silicone and sulfate i-explain po muna natin sa lahat kung ano ba yung sulfate and silicone and kung bakit ba sila kinakatakutan ng karamihan ng mga kulot so silicones are usually found in styling products and also in conditioner while sulfates, on the other hand, are usually found in shampoos. Bakit ba masama ang silicone? Sinasabi nila na masama daw ang silicone because silicones acts like a plastic na mabalot daw sa buhok natin and dahil nakabalot yung plastic na yun sa buhok natin, hindi daw nakakapasok ng maayos yung moisture. Well, sulfates, sinasabi nila na masama daw ang sulfates dahil sobrang effective daw nito na panglinis ng buhok na Yung mga hindi naman talaga dapat matanggal sa buhok natin, natatanggal din ng sulfates. Are these really true? Silicones. What are silicones? And tama ba yung pagka-describe natin or nila dun sa silicones? Ano ba yung fact? The fact is, yes, silicones do in fact coat your hair. But, there's a big but. Alamin muna natin kung ano ba yung function ng silicones talaga sa mga hair products. Silicones in styling hair products and also in conditioners acts as an emollient. So these emollients, they function to provide our hair with luster, shine, and they also prevent frizz. So there are two main kinds of emollients. We have the synthetic emollients and the natural emollients. Pag sinabi mo synthetic, ito ay man-made or ginawa sa laboratory. Synthesized. Pag sinabi mo natural, makikita to sa nature. <laughs> so sa synthetic emollients, Dito nakasama yung silicones. Natural emollients, kasama dito yung grapeseed oil, olive oil, as well as the jojoba oil. Pareho lang sila ng function. Pero since synthetic emollients are made in the laboratory, they are especially designed for hair products. Sinasabi na mas effective ito and mas efficient when it comes to providing slip for the hair. So, kaya maraming products ang gumagamit ng silicones. Silicones are not made to destroy or harm our hair. They were designed to help manage our hair. So, yes, fact po na ang silicones ay nagko-coat ng ating hair. Pero, Ganun din yung mga natural emollients. Yun din yung function nila. They also coat your hair to provide shine and luster. Ginagamit ko yung silicones ko pagkatapos kong mag-deep conditioner. Kasi pagkatapos mong mag-deep conditioner, mamamoisturize ng maayos yung inyong buhok. Now, that's the time to actually use silicones. So, ginagamit ko siya to seal the moisture in and also to protect my own hair from environmental factors. Para siyang isipin nyo yung silicones, if nilagay nyo sa book nyo properly, they would act like a guard. So here are just a few reasons to use the silicones. First, they keep the moisture inside your hair. Second, they protect your hair from environmental factors. They increase slip or madulas yung buhok nyo. So, bakit pa siya importante? Kasi pag madulas yung buhok natin, madali siyang iditangle and less breakage din. Plus, they also tame frizz. Ngayon, alam ko may mga mangilan-ngila na manonood nito na magtatanong, Ana, paano yung build up ng silicone sa buhok ko? Baka mamatay yung buhok ko. This is the importance of choosing your own shampoo wisely. That's also the reason why I'm still using sulfate-based shampoos. Sulfate are actually a detergent found in shampoos. So, meron po tayong limang detergent types na makikita sa shampoo. We have the anionics, the cationics, the non-ionics, 
the amputerics, and also the natural detergents. Now, para po sa video na to, para mas madali nating intindihin, ang babanggitin ko lang po sa inyo is yung kailangan natin na tatlong malaman. So, anionics kasama dito yung sulfates. So, anionics are very famous because super effective nila sa paglinis ng buhok. Super effective nila in a way that they could come off as being too harsh if used incorrectly. But I still use them. My scalp is not sensitive to the sulfates and at the same time, I don't use anionic detergents or sulfates every week. I shampoo every week but I don't use them consecutively. Sadly, this video will take too long if pati yung hair care routine ko isasama ko dito. So, I'll be making an entirely different video dedicated to my hair care routine. So, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you wanna catch that video. Also, you could let me know if I need to prioritize it by commenting down below and liking this video. And at try ako na hindi gumamit ng sulfates before for a whole month and super duper duper kate ng buhok ko. Experience yun na ba yun na parang sobrang kate ng buhok nyo kahit di naman kayo gumagamit ng silikon kahit natural based products pa yung gamitin nyo. Nagbibuild up at nagbibuild up talaga yung product and may mga times na hindi na siya kayang linisin ng mga not strong enough cleansers or not strong enough shampoos. Now moving on to the second type, the natural detergent. Detergents. Natural detergents, they're considered to be the weakest among the detergents. So, sila yung pinakamahina sa paglilinis. So, yun din yung reason kung bakit yung mga pure naturally based shampoo mas mahal and at the same time, less effective sa paglilinis. So, amputerics detergent, ito yung mas mild ng konti sa anionic or sa sulfates, but stronger than the natural detergents. So, sila yung mga nakikita sa baby shampoos. Nung tinignan ko din yung Zen Nutrients Hugo Shampoo, meron din silang Amputeric. This is a very good substitute to sulfates if sensitive yung scalp niya sa sulfates. I use Amputeric detergent and also sulfate-based detergent. So, itong dalawang to, routine ko sila ang ginagamit. It's in a routine basis. So, I use the sulfate-based shampoos if I wanna get rid of the silicones out of my hair pag gusto ko siyang i-moisturize ulit. And at the same time, I use sulfate-based shampoo if galing akong Maynila. Let's face it, sobrang polluted sa Maynila. Sulfates help me manage those icky feelings. So, I still use them and they're not damaging my hair at all. Silicones and sulfates are not the devil. They're scientific basis to back this up. But, just like anything sa mundo, if they are used incorrectly, they could be indeed harmful. And if this video did provide information sa inyo, let me know by hitting the like button and also the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Bye! Spread the love!